in the UPSC civils examination we often observe that some students crack the rank in their second attempt or third attempt whereas some of them will fail continuously for six to seven times what is the reason generally for the people around us the reason may be those who are taking the exam in the second or third attempt are intelligent people hard working whereas those who fail for more than five six times are those who are neither hard working nor intelligent this is the perception of the society on the people who are successful and those who fail but that is not true even the students who fail the examination twice or thrice they think that they are not smart enough they are fit for nothing they are not hard working or maybe they feel that they are not intelligent but all these things are wrong because i personally observed both from the students of Sarath Chandra IS Academy and even outside students who come for my guidance, I observed that several average students are cracking the rank in their first, second and third attempts. Some bright students are missing the examination continuously for five to six times. The reason, the main reason is that these students, the students who are failing continuously, these students are not changing their preparation style. The point here is preparation style has to be changed once you fail in the examination. Once the results are out and if you do not see your name in the list, you take a break for few days because definitely you will be sad for few days because you know you feel that all the energy and time that you have put has gone into the drain. You feel bad definitely. Take a break for a few days and then start dissecting your preparation plan of last one year. You sit with a good mentor, with your faculty who observed your preparation closely. Also sit with your friends and peer group who are there with you in your preparation. So through these people, try to understand what changes you have to make in the next attempt. What mistakes have you made in the last attempt? Try to make a clear note. Just don't talk to them and listen to them. Make a note of the points. Similarly, go through the strategy of several toppers, some 30 to 40 toppers. You can find the strategy in their blogs or some websites or YouTube, whatever. Go through the strategy and try to find out some common points which you think you have to adapt in your next attempt. Of course, you can keep your unique preparation style, but you have to definitely make changes. If you continue the same preparation style, even with hard work, you know, even if you work harder and even if you read more books, gain more knowledge, but still if you maintain same preparation style, you are bound to fail in the exam again and again. You have to make changes in the preparation plan. So after making a note of all the top of strategy important points the points you got from your mentor or faculty or friends you try to go through those points for four to five days pick out the important points add them to your next year's preparation strategy and go by that just implement that because even i what i do is after results are out though i spend some time with the rankers and enjoy i also spend time with the students who fail the examination I spend more time, two hours, three hours on each student because we both will sit together, try to understand last year preparation, what mistakes we have done. Have you spent less time on answer writing? Have you practiced less prelims exams? Because unless you practice more prelims exams, you cannot guess the answers. 40 to 50 questions you have to guess in the exam for that preparation plan is required. Are you I mean, have you neglected some important topics in the preparation or have you not revised certain things which you have prepared very well? I mean, it can be anything. So we will see what mistakes we have done in the last year and this year we will make a new preparation plan. But I found that some students, though they spend time with the faculty, make the, uh, many points, though they take the top of strategy, note many points, even then they will leave everything into the drain. Again, they will continue the same old preparation style that is psychology of most of the people because we have inertia to go with the same plan it is very difficult for people to change their own pattern plan or preparation very few people are flexible you should have a flexible attitude though you are adamant about your uniqueness in the preparation you should be flexible to make changes accordingly in the next attempt only then you can get a rank so those students who learn from their mistakes and the friends mistakes and make changes they will crack the examination in the very second or third attempt so this is what i want to tell friends all the best